4K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Rockets taking on the Warriors. For the Rockets, the goal is to get better each and every time they take the floor. Continuing to build their chemistry and connection. The unspoken bond that yields victory. Warriors. Rockets. The NBA on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. And right here, it's the NBA on 2K. Tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors against the Houston Rockets at Toyota Center. And for Houston, a big point of emphasis. Control the tempo. Push it at your speed. Don't let them slow the game down. And also, don't allow yourselves to get rushed because that's when mistakes happen. And Klay Thompson has one of the smoothest shooting strokes in the league, no doubt. And his disposition mirrors that. Just cool runnings. Perfect mentality for a shooter. He doesn't get rattled by the mess or the misses. I'm telling you right now, he keeps an even temperament throughout the game. I like him because he's low maintenance. Excuse me, I mean no maintenance. Okay. Easy for the fans and teammates to appreciate this guy. How would you describe yourself? Low maintenance oh. or extremely high maintenance? Nuclear maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a joy to work with. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Kevin Harlan. Make those ice cubes cooler for him. <laughs> Nuclear. <laughs> Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Well, guys, Clay Thompson is capable of being a prototypical go-to guy. But his role in Golden State is more restrained. Clay said, I don't care. I get paid handsomely in a great place, and we compete for championships year in and year out. From day one, I've been a warrior. I'm just thankful to be here. Kevin, he likes to play ball and play with his dogs. That's it. He loves playing there, D.A., and they love him. Thank you so much. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Russell are the backcourt set. Green and Cauley Stein are down low. And it's Thompson in at the three spot. And for the Rockets, Tucker and Capella are up front. Harden and Gordon are out on the wing. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard. Clark up front. That's where the game will likely be won or lost in this one. Great, great talent, no doubt, on the front lines here. But if for some reason they cancel each other out, then you know where it's going to be decided. In the backcourt. With guys about your size, Kevin. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, here is Russell. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Tremendous balance by Russell. Takes on contact, finishes the play. Uh, we'll see if he can get the and one at the line. And a 2019 All-Star appearance for D'Angelo Russell. And that's first representative in half a decade. Yeah, and it's been his most efficient season yet. Remember now, he only played a year at The Ohio State University, so a young player, but he's really taking his game up a notch. Scoring and playmaking at a high rate. That validation of being an all-star, terrific for Russell's confidence. And that one misses. Well, he may have worn out his welcome in L.A., but D'Angelo Russell found a good landing spot in Brooklyn. A team in rebuild in need of an offensive infusion. They've unleashed his talent. Count that one. And Curry is so impressive. His peripheral vision is what makes him unique, in addition to his ball handling skills. He does a nice job setting up his teammates and knows how to get them the ball when they're open. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Curry, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And Russell at 6 5 to play at the point guard or the shooting guard. Greg, when you look at his game, what's his best position? Probably the one. I mean, we're seeing a trend towards bigger point guards at the same time that fours and fives are 
defending smaller. And everybody wants that switchability on defense. No one near Curry as he lets it go. The long distance three is buried. And Kevin, the three ball of Curry deadly. I mean, you feel like it's going in as soon as he lets it go, no matter where, at what angle, or how deep. Here's Westbrook and the rejection by Curry. But they recover it. It's stolen by Green. And Green slams it in. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now here's Harden. Got a piece of it. And they get it. That one goes in. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Green, good, and the assist goes to Russell. Green's got his second bucket. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Now here's Carly Stein, and it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. able to retain possession here. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And, you know, it's awesome to see Harden giving his all on defense. That's been an area that he's needed to improve on. Really making an effort to stay with his guy. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And Capella sends it back. And they'll keep possession. And Green gets it to go. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. It's a three-point game. Gordon finds Westbrook. And Houston again with the bucket. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. Curry against Westbrook. And the pass to Thompson over Gordon. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Curry. And such a smart pass from Curry. There isn't much this guy can't do with the ball in his hands. He sees the whole court. Now, here's Westbrook. Seven points in the game. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Daniel House has checked in for P.J. Tucker, and it's Rivers in for James Harden. And it's tied up with that one. Well, it's no secret that the Rockets are looking to take threes as often as possible. Over 45 a game last year. Well, you think about the Rockets, and clearly they're the forerunners of the analytics application in how they play. Well over half their shots last season from three-point range broke their own record last year in three-point attempts. Here's Westbrook. Oh! Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. Once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. Burks, the pass to Curry. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got eight points. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Pass to Capella. Now's to 
dishes to Westbrook. Double team on Westbrook. Lock at six, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And here are the Warriors now. Warriors leading by three. Curry with it. Westbrook picks him up. Curry against Westbrook. Ball stolen. All alone. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with him. And that's such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. It's Curry outside. And another three for Golden State. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm and he's time really out, riding out. that wave right now. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. One thing about Curry you have to admire, Greg, he never wants the spotlight to himself, even as a leader of his team. He always wants his teammates to shine as well. You think back to when Clay was trying to break Curry's three-point record last season, Curry was not only cheering for him, but actively setting him up to make it happen. That camaraderie Curry shows is why his teammates love it. in for Houston. And the Warriors also making a change. McKinney's checked in. Golden State on deep. They lead by four. Green kicks to House. Green the pass to Rivers. Poked away. Six on the shot clock. That's a go from the wing. And the jumper is on the mark. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Outside Robinson. And it's blocked by Gordon. Passes it to House. He kicks it to Rivers. It's stolen by Curry. A shot, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Curry's got 13. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Pass to Green. And another three for Houston. You know, guys, it's really a staple of Green's game. He's a catch-and-shoot player who does a nice job with shot preparation, so he's ready to fire when he catches. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And, and you know, you see it every day, but... It still doesn't make it any less impressive. The amount of skill that Steph Curry has on the floor, the shooting, the passing, the agility, he has it all. could argue Curry is one of the most skilled players of all time. The shooting alone puts him in the conversation and very few can match up to just that. Guys like LeBron and Wilt dominate with their size and athleticism but Curry is an all-time great because of his once-in-a-lifetime skill. And the Warriors with possession here following the score by Houston. The pass to Robinson. From deep and another three for Golden State. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full of 
effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Burks with the steal. They double team Curry. Here's Looney, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his third assist on the night. Rockets trail by eight. And here's Rivers. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Yeah, three turnovers so far, and the real issue is the fact that they're unforced, too careless with the basketball. Greg, they've been out of sync since the opening tip. I mean, they've got to take better care of the ball. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. Harden comes in for Gordon. And the Warriors also making a change. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Curry. Here's Looney. Burks in the corner. Hits it from three-point range. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Now here's Harden. He has five. Lobs it up toward the rim, takes the alley oop pass, and dunks it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with fun blazing. Timeout call, the Rockets. Mark, you and I are sitting here watching this game, broadcasting the game. There are a lot of times that the fans can't see how emotionally charged up you are over some of the things you see on the floor, good and bad. Hey, I love great basketball. Excellent passing, um, tremendous hustle. Um, creativity on your moves. One of the things that really excites me, though, is to see the ball pop and end up in a three-point shooter's hands, and he's able to knock one down because the crowd is able to follow that ball, and yes. the anticipation just kind of rises as it gets to the designated shooter. Um, I love guys going after rebounds on the offensive glass. That's a great example about the three-point shot, though, Clark. I love that. It's terrific. Finds Tucker. Al Harden. Burks covering. Tipped away. It's off his leg. And it's whistled a kick. Here's Harden. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Incredible control on that floater. Harden is fantastic at putting just the right amount of touch on these very difficult and delicate shots. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, you got to do a lot more than that against Tucker, fellas. He's too big, too strong at times for the defense. And if there was ever a definition of a glue guy, Greg, it would be P.J. Tucker. He's so valuable to his team. You know, P.J. gives you production in every way, and his impact really goes beyond the stats. All the little things that coaches want their players to do, that's really the model of Tucker's game. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Get 
And with the departure of KD, the Warriors able to bring in D'Angelo Russell from the Nets in return. Greg, how do you like that fit for Golden State? You know, offensively, fits the high skill level they're known for. Defensively, it might be tougher. But his youth, another positive as their other stars enter their 30s. Outside, Green. A three-pointer is right on target. Green's got a couple of threes now in the first of the Rockets. You know, with a three-point shot, you have to respect and account for. Green really helps his team stretch the floor. And that one's good. Russell. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Has to call his time. Green with the block. With athleticism and good length for a wing, Gerald Green can be a disruptive defender at times. House. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. House has got his second bucket of the game to go. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Good. Nine points for D'Angelo Russell. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. And you know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. So it's Houston with it. Harden against Burks. Cloak loose. Burks with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And he makes that one. Burks has got his second basket of the night. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. And, you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. Throws it up high. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Russell Westbrook checked in for Rivers. And then for Golden State, Green comes in for Kavon Looney. And it's Thompson in for Alec Burks. Warriors leading by 10. Wasted no time on that one. And, you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Now, here's Tucker. Harden the pass to Tucker. They get a hand on it. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And, yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame yeah i love the fact he doesn't play the score he just keeps coming attack mode he doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal here's russell on the wing thompson a three ball good and it's russell picking up the assist and that's now nine points for Clay Thompson. Gotta love the smooth shooting stroke of Thompson. Outstanding at shooting as soon as he catches the ball. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. We come back right after this. Now a chance to hear shooting guard Eric Gordon talk about their key to winning. It's all about not making mistakes, getting rebounds, and getting good stuff to really push the pace up. And I think when we do that, we always are at our best. And Greg, nowadays, it's all about pushing the pace. And it's an offensive-oriented league now. When, when you execute and really look to attack, it puts the opposition on their heels. And welcome back in the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen the Warriors really take control here. 
Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense guys is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Houston. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Green, and it's Chandler in at the five. Yeah, you look at Russell, and one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Always Stein with it, and it's Harden picking him up. And it's Houston on the break. Plenty of space. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Harden's got 14 points for the game. And the shooting has really been there for him today. But he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, Kevin, D'Angelo Russell was traded from the Lakers and, in his words, was kicked on the way out. And he's become an all-star in Brooklyn. Russell said, it's a heck of an accomplishment. That respect from your peers, your coaches, other teams, it's a great feeling. And Kevin, given how it started for him in L.A., many remain shocked by Russell's rapid ascent. Coming into his own, you're right, David. Thank you. Russell passes to McKinney. From deep three-point range, another three for Golden State. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Westbrook, and the shot goes down. 14 points for him. And, you know, Westbrook is fearless. Likes getting deep inside and finishing around the rim and plays in attack mode all the time. Well, you know, for so long, Mike D'Antoni has been a vanguard on NBA offense. His teams have always played great offense, moving, spacing, dynamic players. The defense has not been at the level of offense, but I think he's actually improved as a coach in that area as well. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Now here's Carly Stein. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Curry's checked in for Alfonso McKinney. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Curry is inside. Defended by Gordon. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 24 points. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Houston. Down by 15. And Clark, part of it for Dan Tony is that he is delegating defensive duty. Yeah, and I like that, Kevin. He's made sure to have a defensive coordinator on his staff delegating that. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Mercy, mercy me. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Knocked loose. And now, here comes Gordon leading the break. And the shot goes in. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some hope. When he came into the league, Eric Gordon was tagged as a shooter. Now he's been shooting more than ever. And Gordon, the last few seasons, has been shooting, how about this, over eight threes a game. His success rate with them has gone up and down over the years. But one thing is for sure, he always has the green light. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Clark comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Ben McLemore in for James Harden. Free throw no good from Gordon. And for so many things that the Rockets do right, one area they can lapse in is rebound. Yeah, and a big part of that, I think, is they play a lot of small ball. And the defense is decent, but the rebounding suffers when they go small. They were bottom three in the league last year in rebound. 
And that one's good by Clark. Clark's got his first points of the game. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. You'd be hard-pressed to find another shooter in history with better range than Steph Curry. Those deep threes are nothing for him. Shoot from the line, and Houston again with the bucket. Warriors leading by 15. In the corner, it's Robinson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment. They better lock up on Westbrook or it could be trouble. Warriors have gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. Crawley Stein kicks to Curry. Thompson against Gordon. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And you look at the development of how Clay has attacked the rim over his career. What was once a weak spot for him has now become a strength as his finishing improves every year. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Daniel House has checked in for Clark. Frazier comes in for Ben McLemore. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. That free throw good from Thompson. You know what, Greg, you're right, thinking back to Thompson. He had his early struggles at the rim. And that's a distant memory for Clay now. I mean, he's dunking more often and with more force when he goes at the rim. It has made him an even more complete shooting guard. Now a timeout called by Houston. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. He can't miss from deep. The defense has to regroup here, and I think they've got to change things up because he's locked in from behind the arc. Here's Rivers. He has six. And it's Houston with another. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And with it, 17 points in the game. Shot clock at five. For the three. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got eight here in the quarter. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Looney passes to Curry. Thompson outside. Gordon against Green. Over Gordon. And it's blocked by Gordon. Now Frazier. In the corner, it's Gordon. To the inside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. You know, at this point in his career, Austin Rivers has proven how deadly he can be as a weapon clerk off the bench. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I like the energy that Rivers comes in with. I mean, he pushes the tempo and looks for a shot as well. Um, and I think he can play either guard spot effectively. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Mark, you know, some players just don't need a lot of rest. They can play basketball all day, every day, and don't want to be taken out. They've all got a lot of engine in them. Yeah, they do. 24-7 guys, we call them. They don't need <laughs> a lot right. of fuel, and it seems like they never are out of fuel. Guys like um, Paul George and Russell Westbrook come to mind. Mm-hmm. No good on the second free throw. And what a journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but he persevered and is now an integral part of this group. And he's good on the three ball. And wasn't sure he could keep up the pace he set from three-point range in that first, but boy, has he ever. Gordon against Burks. Side Gordon knocked away. Long deep. They get it again. And the dunk by Capella. Well, Capella's tenacity is so impressive. I mean, he's got an unlimited abundance of energy when it comes to offensive rebound. Now, here's Burks, guarded by Zucker. Here's Spellman. Sweet move. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game. Even, Greg, as he's gone from team to team. You know, he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot. And as he grows older, you, you can see him being a top-level six-man for the rest of his career. On the free throw, no good. Houston's gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, Eric Gordon is the kind of player that you absolutely do not go under on a screen. He'll pull up from deep. Yeah, he's got great range. And you watch the former Hoosier shoot, and you see how much he uses his legs. Gordon's liable to take a shot from any distance in the gym. I mean, he's got that kind of range, and his form is very efficient, and his confidence is sky high. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Looney passes to Robinson. Fades. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten them into the hole. Passes it to Tucker. 13 feet away. But on the bucket, Tucker's got four points this quarter. Yeah, filling out the defense, Tucker gets the look he wants from mid-range. It's Curry outside, and another three for Golden State. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Pass to House. Back to Rivers. This one for three. And the rejection by Curry. And the dunk by Capella. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. From deep three-point range, connects from three-point range. Curry's got 39. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He is yet to miss a shot. And it's blocked. Take 
takes a three and gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got 42 in the game. Boy, Curry is so creative and efficient, and when he gets hot and gets going, he rains down points and baskets on the defense. Drills it from outside. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Houston making a switch. Harden's checked in. Alfonso McKinney's checked in for the Warriors. Jacob Evans comes in for Glenn Robinson the third. Looney kicks to Burks. Sinks the three-pointer. Burks has got eight points. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. A nice shot by Rivers. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And, Greg, to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control, that's not easy to do. I know you're kind of a little fella, but I was a big guy when I played, so I know how difficult that is. That was mm, impressive. I see. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Chandler comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's green and for Daniel House. Mark, you were such a terrific athlete growing up, and it must be fun for you watching your kids and soon your grandkids go through their athletic journey. It really is one of the great blessings and treats of my life to see our kids grow and develop as people, but also to enjoy different sports. Our boys played basketball and soccer, and our daughter played volleyball, all played in college at some level. And so it is great. Anytime you see your kids find their lane, enjoy running in it, and do well in that lane, it's um, joy indescribable. Houston's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. The 6'9 wingspan of Russell reaches, picks it clean, then there he goes off to the races. The Warriors have come up with three misses and five attempts so far at the line. McLemore's checked in for Houston. Omari Spellman has come in for the Warriors. Free throw good, Russell. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And Greg, definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And uh, 101 left in the first half of the game. Russell against Harden. Knocks it loose. Shot clock at three. Fast break. Here we go. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. Russell Westbrook's checked in for James Harden. And that one misses. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. You know, the athletic game of Chandler helps tremendously. He's awesome at flying up to complete alley-oops. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue. That pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Double team on Westbrook from deep green, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist in this one. 
Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Now, here is Russell. He's got 17. To the left side wing. And the turnover again by Golden State. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. And here are the Rockets now. Outside Westbrook. And that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. And so it's the Golden State Warriors rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Draymond, of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. You know, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He went on an historic scoring frenzy, tallying a ridiculous number of points, five assists, and one rebound. He came into tonight following a tremendous performance last time out and looks eager for a repeat. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, with the way they struggled to defend the three-point line, it started to look like a warm-up They cannot be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They got to make life tougher on those outside shooters. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And, and if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. In it forward, it's Thompson and Green. Curry and Russell are the backcourt set. And it's Cauley Stein in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. On the wing, Eric Gordon. He's guarded by Russell and the basket by Gordon. Hey, you can't substitute the importance of focus. I mean, Gordon does such a great job concentrating on the basket. That's what all good scorers do. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here is Houston. Back to Westbrook. The pass to Capella. On the wing, Gordon. Six to shoot from outside the arc. And another three for Houston. And really, the three-point shot is Gordon's specialty, Kevin. When he squares himself up, there's a real high chance he's dropping it in. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. And Coley Stein throws it down. 
just throw it up there. Trill Will's going to take care of the rest. Since taking over the starting role in 2018, Willie Cauley Stein lived up to his draft spot of being number six, Greg, overall in 2015. And, and you knew that a big man like Cauley Stein would take a few years to develop, but at a legit seven feet and, and great length, he is everything you could hope for in a starting center. Stolen by Harden. Bob Bass to Capella. Warriors with the rebound. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Pass to Harden. Gordon outside. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Gordon's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Houston. Curry against Harden. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got 44. And Curry certainly is clever and crafty. Trickery is part of his arsenal when he gets inside. I mean, I like seeing him do his thing close to the basket. Such a wide open look. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Deep two from Russell. And a little luck that time, time, but it drops. Russell's got 19 points. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. Timeout called the Rockets. A Sacramento King for his first four seasons. Willie Cauley Stein was ready for a fresh start. They allowed him to leave, and he got his wish in Golden State. The athletic rim runner, a nice pickup for the Dubs. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook and Houston again with the bucket. Man, you got to admire how easily Westbrook takes over games. I mean, an offensive juggernaut who is tenacious when it comes to scoring. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Westbrook against Curry. Five to shoot. 
And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, I guess when you're up this big, you can afford to get a little sloppy. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And Thompson sends it back. And he recovers it. And here is Capella. Six points for him. Kicks it to Harden. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. Warriors leading by 19. Murray finds Russell over Harden. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got his seventh assist in the game. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. That's tipped. It's stolen by Green. Curry against Gordon. Passes it to Thompson. Fires from the line. And it's Golden State with another. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Well, a lot of players can get hot, but nobody can match Harden when he gets locked in. The, the way he can create space and drill shots from deep, really impossible to guard. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Daniel House has checked in for Capella, and it's Rivers in for Eric Gordon. Free throw good from Harden. And with Harden, he not only gets hot for a game, but stays hot, Greg, for longer periods of time. And you saw that last year with a streak of 30 and 40 point games. For weeks, he can dominate and, and really frustrate defenses, and there isn't anything you can do about it. Here we go. Westbrook drives in. That one finds the mark. It's the 10th time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Like how confident Westbrook is close to the rim. Gets high off the ground and releases his shot quickly. Back to Russell. Launches it. Another three for Golden State. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Harden inside the three-point line, and it's Houston with another. Boy, I love watching Harden pat the rock has an unlimited number of moves to choose from. Endless. Green, the pass to Cauley Stock. Down low, Rivers gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Rivers has got 13 points. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screen. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Tremont. Green. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. You know, no matter how you feel about James Harden, you've got to respect his love for the game. I mean, he absolutely lives and breathes basketball, and that passion has driven him to become the player he is today. throw good James Harden and Clark last year Harden was quoted in saying most players don't really love basketball well I don't know about most 
That seems a bit extreme. Maybe he feels that they don't love it as much as he does, which certainly you could understand. But I can say that very few players have the drive and determination to improve their game the way Harden has. That's part of why he's been an MVP. The Warriors have shot three of seven at the foul line. Good Burks. Here's Rivers. He's got 13. Outside Westbrook. Shoots over Burks. Again, the rocket score. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. And there's the call on Austin Rivers. That's foul number two for him. Some nice passing by Golden State here. McKinney passes to Robinson. Yep, that one goes. Robinson's got nine. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Westbrook with the bucket. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now, shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Here's Russell. That one falls. Russell's got 11 points in the quarter. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Foul on Alec Burks. That'll be his second foul of the game. Clint Cavella, he's checked in for the Rockets. Pass to Rivers. Let's the free fly. Got a hand on it, but they'll get another chance. House kicks to Rivers, shoots over Burks, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And that's 15 points for Austin Rivers. Westbrook with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And two shots coming up at the line as it gets fouled on the shot. That's his third For Houston, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. And the first one at the line is good. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. So House nails both of them. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, Greg, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Here's McKinney. He's got six. It's Harden with the drive. Makes it off the glass. Harden's got 16 points here in the second half. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? McKinney passes to Robinson. Thompson outside. He kicks to Burks. Just five on the clock. With some arc, and the layup is good. Burks has got 13. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Harden with it. 30 points in the game. 
In the corner, it's Westbrook. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. That's 29 points for Russell Westbrook. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. To the middle, here's Burks. And he slams it one-handed. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. 11-point game. And the foul on Harden. That's his third foul of the game. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for James Harden. Gordon against Robinson. The pass to Burks. And Gordon over to help. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignite. A floater, and the layup is up and in. Gordon's got it back down to single digits for the Rockets. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Robinson. One fifty-two left to play here in the third. Looney kicks to Curry. Works for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Rockets trail by 12. Here's Westbrook. Again, the Rockets score. And, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. And a deep three from Curry. Another three for Golden State. How about the range on that jump shot? I love seeing this guy when he's in form. Westbrook finds Capella and stolen by Coley Stein. There's Looney. He's covered by Westbrook. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Houston making some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Daniel House. And it's Gerald Green in for Russell Westbrook. And the Warriors also making a change. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Alec Burks. Thompson, high post. On the high post, he drills it. Thompson's got 21 in the game. Yeah, once Thompson gets going, he, he is almost impossible to slow down. We're seeing that tonight. Their entire offense is revolving around him. And boy, is he coming through. Here's Gordon. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Yeah, just fighting an uphill battle, the turnovers forcing them to lose ground. Greg, a sloppy play clearly putting their lead in jeopardy. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Houston. Frazier comes in for Green. And the Warriors also making a change. Russell's checked in. Rivers against Curry. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Thompson in the corner. Bobbed up there for Green. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. Now Gordon. It's Rivers on the way. Buries the long-range jumper. Rivers has got 10 points now just in this quarter. It's a textbook example of how to move the ball. He got it! Wow! He got it! My goodness! Oh, 
beats the buzzer from way down court. These fans are stunned. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Back right after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there for him. With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Warriors leading by 15. Harden and Gordon are out on the wing. Tucker and Capella are up front. And it's Rivers in at the one spot. That's the five for Houston right now. And I just love the cleverness of Curry. When he's this deep, he's adept at finding different ways to score over the deep. A nice shot by Tucker. Oh, some slick passing from Harden on that one. Tucker's gone four of five, shooting from the field. Now, here's Curry. Thompson outside, from the arc. And a great assist by Curry, as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Rivers passes to Gordon. The three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. Timeout, I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Timeout called the Warriors. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Will Steve Kerr talk to his team during the break? He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin will see if they can keep focused. the double. Lock at six. Here's Gordon, and Thompson sends it back, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. To the paint. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And I would not be surprised to see them double him up here. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the What's emotional up? leader, truly a special player. That's good from Green. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice, easy layup, which was a good decision. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. And you see Clay back out on the court. Can't help but think of him going down with that torn ACL in the finals. And Clay showed exactly how tough a player he is. Stayed in to hit his free throws, asked to stay in the game. 
and, and became an instant legend Find the lanes. even in that Find losing the effort. How Good about shot. the heart? That free throw good from Thompson. Man, Thompson is phenomenal as a two-way player. A knockdown shooter from everywhere, challenged or unchallenged, and he defends at an elite level, too. Oh, I love that dish down low. Warriors leading by 17. Inside, three, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. I like the play call, very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Rockets trail by 20. Harden outside. Launches a three. And another three for Houston. Harden is known for his creativity. Can't lose him in the screen and roll, or he'll take you to school. Pass to Cauley Stock. Back to Russell. And it's blocked by Gordon. And he gets it back. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for What's one up? more. So we'll see D'Angelo Russell go to the line here. That one's on Eric Gordon. One shot. Free throw good, Russell. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. Can't do much better than that, guys. Rivers looking over the floor. Here's Tucker. Green with the block. Pass to Russell. From downtown, another three for Golden State. And you know, this has become a real weapon for Russell now, and it's because he's worked hard on this shot. And Tucker has it in the corner. Puts up a three, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep to the middle. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And the Rockets making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. Rock 
Rockets have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. To the inside, Gordon. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And you know, when Gordon gets going, the D better watch out. I mean, he heats up fast. Excellent at getting to his spots. Free throw good from Eric Gordon. And Gordon just continues to prove why he's so valuable. I mean, he knows he's out there to shoot the ball, and he does it very well. Collie Stein kicks to Russell. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead, and as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taking advantage of a really tired defense. Outside Curry. From deep. And another one falls. Amazing. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Westbrook against Thompson on the wing. And again, the Rockets good for two. Warriors leading by 20. Curry kicks to Thompson. Goes up from the top of the key. And another basket for Golden State. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Westbrook finds Gordon. Over Cauley Stein. And it's Houston with another. I love seeing Gordon work in the pick and roll. Great at pulling up to shoot once the screen comes his way. Floats it up for Curry. And yep, another basket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. From deep, Harden. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. You know, a good percentage of Harden's points come from beyond the arc. He works extremely hard to find the space he needs on the perimeter. Curry passes to Russell. Shot from the wing. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Westbrook climbs in and finished off by Westbrook. Man, I tell you what, one of the things I love about Westbrook is the ferocity with which he attacks the rack. When he's driving inside, he's trying to punish the defender and the basket. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Now the pass to Tucker. Harden inside the three-point line, and it's sent back by Russell. Pass to Curry. And good! He hits it again. Make that 61 points. Yep, everything is going his way right now. Westbrook against Thompson. Harden gets the bucket. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Passes to Russell. Thompson from long range. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Houston. A three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. Here's Thompson. That one drops for him. Thompson's got 36. And that is textbook perfect, the bounce pass. Exactly how you want to throw it. Pulls from the top of the key. A shot's good from Westbrook. Going all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. 
Warriors leading by 21. Curry passes to Looney. And Capella over to help. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Houston. Manuel House comes in for P.J. Tucker. And that one falls for Looney. Rocket shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery at its finest. And it goes down two points. <laughs> And it's Houston's ball. Ball's knocked loose. Westbrook finds Chandler. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his ninth assist in the game now. Oh, such a feel shot there, the photo. Curry passes to Looney. To the paint. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And doing a really good job here of pounding it inside in the second half. Sound strategy with the lead. So for the Rockets, Clint Capella comes in for Chandler. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Eric Gordon. One shot. Thompson no good on the free throw. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Curry against Westbrook. Outside, Russell. Here's the floater. Shock up two there. Russell's got 40 points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. A three from Harden. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Oh, I tell you what, when Harden decides to turn it up, then you're turned out. It is a sight to see, folks. I mean, relentless, instinctive, tremendous night so far for him. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. of our Jordan player of the game, Steph Curry. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Warriors leading by 21. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got 40 points. Thompson against Westbrook. Kicks to Hart. 
feeds it to Capella. And Looney sends it back. Curry against Harden. Down low. Russell. And again, another assist. Another possession. Another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. One shot. You know, D'Angelo Russell, to his credit, made the most of the move to Brooklyn. You know, he was dumped by the Lakers in 2017 in a trade to create cap space and ended up being selected to his first All-Star game in 19. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. It's in there. Russell's got 45 points. And this is what you get with a bigger guard. D'Angelo able to finish through contact. Here's Chandler and the rejection by Evans. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors as one-sided as it gets today. You know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Steph Curry. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. Here's Pascal. Five on the clock. Evans outside. Another three for Golden State. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Stolen by Evans. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Lobs it up, out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Well, that's a moment he'd like to archive. Embarrassing lapse of judgment there. Curry. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Frazier the pass to Green. Frazier scanning the floor. Shoots the three. And there's Green on the assist by Frazier. You know, Gerald Green is a reliable shooter, one of the very best catch-and-shoot guys around. He's fine-tuned that jumper over the years, too. Outside Curry. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Clay, what is the key to the way you play tonight? You know, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now, and my teammates do a good job of finding me when I'm open, so all credit goes to him. I, I just catch and fire when I'm open. And they found the shooter, and he shot. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.